Hello and welcome to another week's edition of the Weekly Waller Review Show. We're here uh, back in the office this week. Lovely, yes. lovely office it is. And uh, we had a good week last week. Well, you didn't up in Eagle Farm, did you? Um, track was very, very different. Very different. Yeah. You like that word, didn't you? Yeah, well, it's the best word for it. We don't need to go there anymore. At least they're racing at Doom this week. No, exactly. Um, but yeah, three winners in Sydney. Yep, we did. We had In Times of War getting another win to the name, which is well deserved. She's a very smart filly. She is. She's got a bright future ahead. And Monasterium. So uh, that's his place in the dark. He did. Good ride from Chad Lever, who, uh, yeah, does a lot of hard work around the stables and um, copybook ride, followed the fence, quickest way home, and got the prize from the stable mate Cross Stitch. And so, Willie. Three, three from, from four. four. This preparation. Solid effort. Probably the informed horse of Sydney, really. Um, and uh, yeah, Jason Collett was a cool ride, and he came up on the inside, came through them in the last 200 metres for a very good win, and he gets his chance again on Saturday. Yeah, yeah third absolutely. Week. All right. And we also had best guess on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, good win. very good win, um, won by three lengths. Um, yeah, he's been a model of consistency this preparation and certainly appreciated the extra distance. I think it was 12.50 and he's got a bright sprinting future ahead. Absolutely. All right, we'll get straight into Doombin as we've got a busy day. Well, you've got a busy day up there. Preferment. Can he bow out on a win from right. barrier two in a field of six? Well, let's hope so. If he's anywhere near his best form, he would beat them. Um, Absolutely. Obviously, he hasn't won for a long time, but we've been through all the necessary checks. He's working well. Good track. Good track, good jockey, good draw, small field, no excuses. Uh, let's hope he yeah, goes to the Stallion Barn on a winning note. Yeah, absolutely, where well, you can get plenty more winners. <laughs> Race 7, the Queensland Oaks. We have Egg Tart, Barrier 10, Kieran McAvoy. Yeah, slightly awkward gait, but she's she's pretty professional, as is Kieran. I just guess they'll just settle anywhere from 6th through to last, as she was in the the group one race that she won last start, so pretty foolproof. Um, work's been good. She's she's just a, a privilege to train. She's spot on and ready to go. And Dawn Wall, Hugh Bowman, Barrier Sixteen. Yeah, that's a, a really tricky draw. Um, I guess Huey will just see how she jumps. Um, she's a pretty versatile filly as well. Uh, four weeks between runs, but she's certainly done plenty of work over the past two weeks and um, heads to the race as fit as we can have her and um, yeah she had an exhibition go up last Saturday Huey was happy with the way that she worked she worked strongly on Tuesday she's got the class just needs a bit of luck from the draw okay and Larry Cassidy jumps back aboard Invincibella from, from barrier six yeah well he rode her at the Gold Coast two starts ago and hopped off for that day and said she was very unlucky and and to press forward towards the oak, so it seems logical to have him back aboard. She's going to get a lovely run from that draw, and I think she'll appreciate a better track. Although she handles the wet tracks, it's going to help her get the 2200 metres. And Oklahoma girl, Blake Shin, barrier seven. Yeah, well, um, she was very unlucky not to have won last start, and that's form around egg tart. So she's up, up to this field for sure. Um, Draw's not too bad for her. She'll get a lovely run. Um, she'll be hard to beat. Good chance of running the first three. Cross stitch on the back up. Yeah, she, two. she went very well and was was just bobbed out of a photo finish basically on Saturday um, and hit the front a long way from home. I think got a little bit lost, but certainly confirmed that she can stay the 2,000 metres. It's only an extra 200 metres. Good, strong filly. I don't see the seven day back up as being any problem. Okay, and Lee Thinnis from Barrier 1 on Baser. Um, look, Baser and Karini, we were taking up thinking that the race would be at Eagle Farm. 2400. 2400, tough staying test and a very open contest on that track. So I guess of my horses, it doesn't, doesn't suit these two more than any um, to be changing. And it's going to make it harder for them. But look, they're fit. They've had long preps. And like any horse in this race, if they can run in the top three, it puts their value through the roof. Absolutely. So that covers Karini too? Yeah, Karini, she's, she's probably a bit more 
foolproof the invasive. Basically, does a few things wrong. Karina's got a lovely, beautiful, clean action. Um, yeah, but they need they need a tough stain test to perform. Okay, we'll nip down to Rose Hill, the Inform, inform New Universe, Barrier 4. Good draw, Charlie. Big weight to carry, uh, but Inform horse. Tom very interestingly said that he struggled with the track last start. Track should be perfect at Rose Hill on Saturday as we see time in, time out. Um, they've even put a bit of water on through the week, so at this stage it's a good three. Let's hope it stays that way because that's what this horse needs to show his best. Into the next race we have Dagny. Impressive winner last start, Charlie. Uh, 61 kilos to carry, but it'll take a good horse to beat her, that's all I'll say. You got anything? She's add? also in the last Barry 19, fourth emergency. I'd say she'll be running the Phillies and Mears race. Carrying the big weight. Yeah. Being hard to beat. Okay, Labdian. Good last start. Beat by the stable mate, running second to Dagny. Bit of a turnaround in weights. I would expect there'd be two kilos difference. I haven't gone through the form just yet, but that's what normally is the case. Um, don't underestimate this horse. She's she's going well. Um, she's drawn to run a nice race, and she'll appreciate the good track as well. Okay, Wayanka on the quick backup, barrier two, Glen Schofield. Disappointing last Saturday. Um, maybe it was on that soft track at Ramwick. And saying that he did win his maiden on a soft seven track last week, he failed on a soft six. So, fifteen hundred a concern? Uh it is, but I don't think it'll be too much of a worry. He's the distance um, in terms of his breeding should be fine. I think ride him a little bit conservatively. If you can think back to last Saturday, he was hitting the front at the four hundred meter mark and probably not respecting the Ramwick straight. You need to time your runs when you're stepping up and trip. And I think now that he's had the run over fourteen hundred. 1500 at Rose Hill won't be a problem. He's a good chance of bouncing back. Okay, in the same race we have Walk the Streets from Barrier 13. Yeah, um, slightly awkward gait. Very unlucky not to have won last start. She ran a close second and they had a chicken path in the straight. She's a good filly, this. She's one to follow and obviously the draw makes it a bit hard, but she'll really appreciate the big Rose Hill track. Okay, and into the octagonal. We have three. We have Sabacus, Barrier 1. Yeah, I'd love to see him settle a bit closer, Charlie. Midfield would be perfect. He gets too far out of his ground and then he needs speed on to be able to make it possible to finish off. So he couldn't have gone any, any better than he did it. It's going for that simple reason. And let's hope we can utilise the draw on Saturday. And we have Invincible. Yeah, well. claiming two kilos with Rachel King. Um, that gets him down to 51 and a half. He won't know himself at that weight. Um, so, gee, he was an impressive winner last start. He'll take some beating on Saturday. Absolutely. And we also have Saritza from Barrier 2, Jay Ford. Yeah, well, gee, on her best form, she'd blow this field away. She's a Group 2 winner, but that was a year ago now. So, last start run at Scone was good. She got cannoned off the track. At a vital stage, it still ran on okay. She'll appreciate the good track, the good draw. If she gets things sorted in the first part of a race and is tractable in the straight, she'll be hard to beat. And into the lucky last, we have Loophole resuming. Yeah, he normally needs 2,000 metres to see his best, but uh, you never say never with a horse like him. Um, I'm sure he'll run a cheeky race, but certainly watch for him once he gets up to 2,000 metres. Okay, and Leopari from Barrier 16. Yeah, awkward draw. Um, didn't have a lot of luck last start. The way the race was run didn't really pan out. Um, prior to that, very impressive first up. So one that can't be um, taken too lightly, but does need a bit of luck from the game. And Springbok Flyer resuming. Very similar to Loophole. We'll need a lot further, in fact. Um, so I think he'd be safely held Saturday, but he's come back in good shape at least. And hopefully once he's up over 2,000, even 2,400, you'll see the best from him then. Okay, and just the one down at Moody Valley, Hursley, barrier 15. Yes, awkward draw, Charles. But Craig Williams is aboard. Um, he knows the horse very well. Better than anyone. He sure does. So horse is going well. Didn't have a lot of luck last start. Senior rider back aboard. He can bounce back. Okay, that's it. Let's snag a group one this weekend, too. Hey? Do our best, Charlie. Okay, good work. Mm -hmm.